Hi there, this week I've got two things to tell you. Azure Active Directory, Temporary Access Press. It's new, it's exciting, but how does it work? Let's take a look. Hi there, I'm Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. You know, security is really, really important and Microsoft this week announced a, a new public preview of something called Temporary Access Press. And this comes part of their Active Directory, sorry, Azure Active Directory infrastructure. Now, something that Microsoft is really promoting is the concept of passwordless authentication getting rid of usernames and passwords, simplifying the way we log in. And also you can either use biometrics, you can use devices. So something other than just simply something that you know. And a temporary access pass is a fantastic kind of short term MFA uh, deployment tool. So how does it work and how do we set it up? Let's take a look and find out. So temporary access pass starts here in Microsoft 365 and I'm just going to go into the admin center and I've got a user here called Jean-Luc Picard. Like I said, I'm a Trekkie, what can I say? So um, what we're gonna do, instead of going into the user account here, I'm gonna go over here into Azure Active Directory. And in Azure Active Directory, one of the things we need to do is switch this feature on. So I'm gonna scroll right down here to the bottom and I'm gonna click on the security blade here. And in the security blade, we have an option here for authentication methods. Now, very important if you want to uh, try out the FIDO2 keys. So this is Microsoft's passwordless authentication features. You can use the FIDO2 keys, uh, the Microsoft Authenticator app, which I'm sure many people are using. You can also send out text messages and this is brand new. So this is the temporary access pass and it's currently in preview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to enable this and um, I can enable it for all users or just for selected users. Again, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to switch it on for all users. Okay, so that's the first thing I've done. I've gone ahead and I've switched this on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my portal and I'm just gonna scroll up and I'm gonna go into my users. And I've got a user, like I said, his name is Jean-Luc Picard and he is here. And I'm gonna go into his account and in his account, you can see that we have authentication methods here as well. So John, we know either we want Jean-Luc to uh, register for multi-factor authentication or he's lost his FIDO key or he's lost his phone or something, but we still want to give him access and still use this multi-factor authentication. So what I can do is I can come up here and I can say add an authentication method, click on the drop down arrow and you can choose do it through email, through the user's phone number. Um, again, that would send him a text message, of course, or we can issue him with a, this new temporary access pass. Now with the temporary access pass, I can delay the start time for this. So I can push this back and say, hey, it's gonna be available to and from this specific date and time. Or you can just say, yeah, go ahead and activate it now. Now, the default is for an hour, so that means they can use it for an hour. Um, so, Andy, what happens if you know at that hour uh, expires? Well, one of the things what we're trying to encourage them to do is really think about um, multi-factor authentication, so using a different mechanism. So, for example, like, um, uh, uh, you know, Windows 10 Hello or, let's say, the, the Microsoft Authenticator app. So I can go ahead, I can change this. You can make this as, you know, as long as you want. So I'm going to say, yeah, you can have this for four, four hours. 
Uh, is this a one-time off? Is this a one-time use thing? So IE, that's it. Once he's used that code and once he's logged in, he's got his only option. That's his, uh, you know, all he can do. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and say no. So I'm just going to click on add. And you can now see I've now added that temporary access pass. And you can see it's valid to and from that date. And he gets secure registration. So to register their credentials, um, we recommend that the user goes to my security info, which the link is here. So what I'm going to do just now is I'm going to copy this uh, pass and I'm going to paste it into Jean-Luc's account. So, so it's ready to go in his account. And I'm going to uh, just copy his username. And we're going to log in as this user. So I'm going to open a, an in private window and I'm going to go to office.com. Okay. And I'm going to sign in as Jean-Luc. So I'm just going to paste that in. Oops. Yes. There we go. And click on next. Now you can see. Now it says, okay, Jean-Luc has been issued a temporary access pass. Do you wish to log in? I do indeed. So I'm just going to copy this uh, pass. So just copy that across and, you know, I'll show it. So just paste this in, make sure there's no spaces. Looks good. And I'm going to click on sign in. Okay. So my user has now signed in. And the other thing, you know, it's nice he's signed in, but what you really want to do is you want to uh, kind of really get them to, to go to this page. So this is the My Security Info page. And I'll just show you there. So I'm just going to open another tab and I'm going to paste that in here. And yeah, so this is the security info and it just shows you what authentication methods this user has so you can see they've been issued with a temporary access pass and uh, the user can say hey i want to you know if they didn't have the authenticator and they wanted another mechanism so i can click on the drop down here arrow here and maybe they have a security key so they've got a one of these new fido security keys so if I clicked on that, click on add, and it would then walk me through the setup for that security key. Now, if you want to know more about um, the passwordless authentication, there will be a link in the video uh, to another session that I did, which explains all about that. Okay, so uh, passwordless authentication and the brand new temporary access pass, which is part of uh, Microsoft 365. So pretty cool. So there you have it, temporary access pass, which is now included as part of Microsoft's Azure Active Directory and Microsoft 365. Uh, how cool is that? If you've enjoyed this session, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you don't miss any future postings and as always i love your comments make sure that you put them below any questions that you have i always get around to answering them so in the meantime you stay safe and i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for dropping by remember you can visit me at andymalone.org and go ahead and click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing i'll see you next time